Aliyah, I want you to know that your mom and I are very proud of what you have accomplished. And we want you to know that we love you very much. And also, we will always be here for you, Griffin and Appa. Growing up, Aliyah has always been able to envision or see things beyond our imagination. We were vacation in Mexico on a train ride, and Aliyah said to us that she saw a flamingo. Mind you, there were eight of us there, and no one saw that flamingo. Anyway, the train came back around, and there it was. One black flamingo. So, of course, we said we're not going to question her anymore. Another time, we were in St. Martin, and Aliyah said to us, she saw goats in a tree. We all laughed and said, goats cannot climb trees. But she insisted that she did see goats up on a tree. A few months went by, and I was looking at the National Geographic show, and of course, they were showing some goats to climb trees. So when Aliyah introduced us to Griffin, I knew not to question her because she can see things that we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, he's pretty. You look beautiful. Thank you, me too. Griffin, we are happy that Aliyah found you and we are even happier to call you uh, honorary West Indian. Your love for doubles with everything, roti, hurt in your back, dancing to Dutch Marshall Montano in the car, and be able to eat more pepper sauce than any one of us prove that. We absolutely thrill that you have found each other. Together, you guys are able to do anything, and anything is possible. We wish you all the best, and we love you very much. Having gone through the rigors of becoming an ordained minister online, I rely on the wise words of actor Will Farrell to test each couple that I marry. Before you marry a person, you should first make them use a computer with slow internet to see who they really are. <laughs> Having played many matches of Overwatch with Griffin and Aaliyah through varying speeds of internet, <laughs> I know they have an everlasting love and patience required for marriage. Remember that love, loyalty, and empathy are the foundations of a happy and endearing marriage. Transitioning into some of the formalities of today's ceremony, Griffin, do you take Aaliyah to be your lawfully wedded partner, to have and to hold, in sickness and in good health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, for as long as you shall both live? I do. Now, Aaliyah, do you take Griffin to be your lawfully wedded partner, to have and to hold, in sickness and in good health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Now, a Griffin and Aaliyah have prepared vows for one another. Griffin, the floor is yours. Aaliyah, you were my best friend, my support, my soulmate. Asking you out eight years ago continues to be the best decision I have ever made, a decision I am constantly thankful for. You are my reason for getting up in the morning and the reason I am able to rest my head at night. You walked with me through some of the toughest times and are my motivation to be the best I can be. There is so much about you that I treasure, definitely too much to listen to these vows but I will try. My favorite moment is the pause we have before we blurt out laughing at the same joke, no matter how stupid, obscure it is. Your smile brings me enough joy to forget my worries. 
and I am continually stunned at your ability to create whatever art is on your mind. Your left eye doesn't completely close when you sleep, <laughs> and that freaks me out, <laughs> but I love that too. I don't even mind that you would push me in front of a train to make your dog's day marginally better, or that you never finish more than half your drink. I swear that as long as I am alive, I will do nothing but love, appreciate, and cherish you. I will kill any bug, no matter how innocent it is, and continue to bore you with random science facts. I will always be by your side and love you. Here? Okay. <laughs> Griffin, you are my favorite person and probably the only person to able to tolerate my antics. I am grateful for your friendship and everything we have accomplished together. I'm glad that we can continue to spend the rest of our lives encouraging each other to go further and reminding each other when to relax. I love you very much and want to thank you for always making me feel safe by triple checking our doors are locked every night, for reminding me when it's time to take my pills, and for treating me better than I feel like I deserve. You have helped me through many mental breakdowns due to school and other life events. I am grateful that I have never had a breakdown because of you in the past eight years. <laughs> every time I gather myself, I wonder why you still put up with me. Then I realized your car has broken down more than I have. <laughs> and you haven't gotten rid of it either. <laughs> As we continue our lives together, I promise to remain loving you and supporting most of your impulse purchases, whether they may be chick kitchen gadgets, exotic plants, or 20 pounds of almond butter. <laughs> now Griffin and Leah have chosen rings to exchange with each other as a symbol of their unending love. Griffin, as you place this ring on Aaliyah's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and pledge you my love, and pledge you my love, now and forever, now and forever. <laughs> now Aaliyah, as you place this ring on Griffin's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. By the authority vested in me, by American Marriage Ministries, and the <laughs> state of Florida, I now pronounce you married. Griffin, you may now kiss your bride. You always be my queen. You need to the jeans. I, need I now introduce to you Mr. Majesty. and Mrs. Griffin and Leah Parker. Until my legs get weak. Until my hair is gray. I'll color all your days. Color all your days.
like inside my 